I, I, you know what? There's a tunnel, obviously, straight through. I'm going to stop here. There's obviously a tunnel that goes straight through that termite mound. And they went in and popped out the other side. <laughs> it's fantastic. I know that that beastly strychnos bush is in the way, but I, I'm going to give them a little bit of time to settle. Then I will try and sneak a little bit forward. Oh, look at them. This is just fantastic. Sorry. I'm just not sure why it is that they can't remain like this when they're adults. They don't show anything like the same excitement around cars. You can't follow them off-road when they're adults. And yet these little ones become so inquisitive. Now what we must try and do while we've got them so close to us is figure out are there any distinctive markings that will help us to discern who they are as they grow up. Now remember their fur of course is going to turn completely so looking at markings on the fur is difficult except where there are spots formed because the spots will not change. So there's a distinctive spotting pattern somewhere on the face or on the chest there. Like she's got, or he or she has got a very distinctive spot. What now? He or she's got a very distinctive spot just under the leg. At least be between the ear and the eye. Mother's gone over there. Baby's still just outside. Look, look, look at that. Sorry, Gloria Cat Lover, you've asked a question about scars. I'm just going to ask for it again. Look how naughty they are. You want to know if they have lots of scars from fighting each other? Yes, they do. From very early on, Gloria, they get scars all over their faces because they start fighting from very early on and I think you'll find the males and <laughs> you'll find the males the other one is just not visible because it's right here <laughs> the males and the lower ranking females like the like ribbon here will be that much more easily scarred because they have to fight for more. I think they're going through to the other side. What is going on here? Is something making her a little bit easy? So she's wandering off down there now. She does seem to be leaving. They're back out again though. They don't want mum to leave, but mum is leaving, and so what we're going to do is sit very, very quietly and see how long they will tolerate being here without mum, because I think they're going to go back inside. One fright now, one little thing to startle them will send them scuttling back in and they won't come out. Did you see that little bit of behaviour there, what they're doing there? They're already starting to mark trees bushes with the anal gland. Gone around the other side. I think mum's disappeared down there. Let's wait here for one second and then we'll go around and see if they're still outside. There's a gorgeous sky starting to form. I think this hole goes right through the middle of the termite mound. It's ideal because nothing other than something as small as a hyena will be able to get in there. So let's just roll forward and see if we can't spot a little cub the other side. But maybe we are finished now with the sighting. I 
don't want to start the engine. No, I think they've gone back in. Well, that was a nice start to the morning. Let's quickly go down the road here and see if we can't have a decent look at the sunrise.